Um, I will be demonstrating how to create a p-chart uh, for both situations where the sample size is equal or, or varying um, among samples. Uh, this is a problem where um, samples of the work for 20 clerks are shown in this table. Um, 100 records are entered by each clerk. Um, and those were examined uh, for errors. So uh, in this example, we have 20 records, 20 employees, and uh, we, for each employee, we have 100 uh, records that were entered. So equal sample sizes. So in this case, n equals 100 um, <clears throat> in our application. Um, so uh, the way to do this is um, you must uh, calculate per, uh, percent error for each employee, which is essentially um, each number of errors divided by 100. You can copy that down. <clears throat> and in this case, because the sample sizes are equal, uh, you can just average that. And we'll see that it's 4% overall average. Or another way is to add up all the number of errors, which is 80. And then you can compute p-bar by saying we have 80 errors total divided by 20 um, samples times 100 which is um, 2,000 total sam uh, records that were evaluated. And this, in this process, you can also, or with this process, you get the same answer. Um, average n in this problem, of course, is uh, 100. <clears throat> because each sample um, has 100, and so the average would also be 100. Standard deviation of sampling distribution uh, is uh, equal to <clears throat> the uh, p-bar, which is zero, which is zero point zero four times one minus p-bar, which is zero point nine six. All of that divided by n, um, which in this case is 100. And of course, we need to take square root of it. Square root of that whole thing. Uh, so it's 0 0.019596. Um, if we round that off to 0.02. Then the upper control limit is the p bar, which is 0.04 plus, um, and we can use for z value, we can use 3 if we're doing a 99.7% control chart. And we multiply that by the 0.02 which is our standard deviation of sampling distribution. And for lower control limit, we use the 0.04, which I have here, so I can just click on it. But then we subtract from it three times <coughs> the uh, standard deviation of sampling distribution, which is 0.02. Because this number is negative, we use ze zero <clears throat> as our lower control limit. So now to create the chart, we have each of the data values. These are these percent percentages. I will um, <clears throat> let me prep this up. 
This is the data value that will be used in uh, creating our control chart. Uh, then we need our upper control limit, we need our lower control limit, and we need our center line. So upper control limit in this case we compute it to be 0 0.1. So I can put 0 0.1 and just copy that down. Lower control limit is 0. So I can just copy that down. And center line, I can either put 0 0.04 or I can set it equal to this number, fix the cell reference and then just copy that down. Any, when, any, way, any format that you use, any method that you use is going to give you the same um, response. So now we're ready to create our chart. You highlight all of those um, values that need to go into creating the control chart. You go to Chart Wizard, use Lines, click on this option, and it creates your chart it creates your chart but then to actually indicate the data values or dots you need to click on the actual um, control chart um, the 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 values go to format marker options push automatic and okay and now it puts the dots and now this is ready for you to interpret now let's go to when P charts uh, are used, but then the N is varying sizes. Um, let's say samples of work for 20 clerks are shown, but varying number of records were entered by each clerk um, and examined for errors. And this is the information that we get. So in this situation, you cannot just average all the, um, compute the percent errors. Um, I'll show you. If you do, and I'm going to do this. <clears throat> if you do compu uh, percent error and you take 6 and you divide it by 76, you're going to get this answer. If you, av uh, if you copy that down and then average that, average that column, you get 0 0.057, 0 0.058, something like that. But um, this is not the correct way of doing it. What you must do is you need to sum up the total number of errors. You need to sum up or add up the total number of um, records that were examined. And to compute the p-bar, you take the total number of defectives or non-conformities, which in this case is 80, and you divide it by the overall number of records examined, which in this case is in cell B25, or the value for it is 1,354. And when you compute that, you will see that this is these two numbers are not the same. So um, the reason for that is because our sample sizes are varying. Uh, uh, units, numbers, and so um, <clears throat> we need uh, to compute our, compute our average uh, in the format that I showed you here. So now then uh, we need also an average n or average sample size. Well the total number of records is 1,354 but um, we had 20 samples or 20 employees clerks. Uh, so if you divide by that, uh, the average number of records per clerk is 67.7. So now I'm ready to calculate my uh, standard deviation of the sampling distribution. So this is again equal to uh, 1 minus, and I'm going to round this off to 0 0.059. So 1 minus 0.059. 059, which is 1 minus p bar times p bar times 0 0.059 divided by average sample size, which is 67.7. .7. And 
and all of that needs to be I need to compute the square root of all of that square root and that answer is 0 0.02867 da, 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 da. so I'm just gonna uh, round that off point if I were to do hand calculations I would be rounding off like you might at, on a test for example uh, so point oh two Oh, I will just round it off to 0 0.029. And so upper control limit using a two, oh, I'm sorry, using a three standard deviation chart or 99.7% chart, it would be <clears throat> our p-bar, which I said I'm going to use 0 0.059, so 0 0.059 uh, plus three times 0.029 and my lower control limit is going to be my center line 0 0.059 minus 3 times 0 0.029 which is a negative value so again we use 0 oops use 0 so <clears throat> my center line my lower control limit and my upper control limits are my center line I said I'm going to use uh, 0 0.059 uh, my center line up uh, uh, my lower control limit I said I'm going to use 0 and for my upper control limit we must use 0 0.146 0 0.146 so if I copy all of that down, um, now I'm ready to create my chart. Again, I go to the chart wizard, uh, and if you don't, if you haven't included that in your uh, shortcut ribbon, uh, what you can do is you can highlight everything, go to insert menu, um, line line charts, select that, format data marker options, automatic, close, and now you can expand this so that you can uh, see it better uh, and from this point on you would interpret the chart as <clears throat> we have done in class or in the discussion board or um, your book uh, proposes. Um, you would essentially create C charts and X bar R charts the same way. You can do all of the calculations either with Excel or with manual calculations using calculator, etc. And then once you have the center line, lower control limit, upper control limit, and the actual values that must be tracked, um, you can create four columns and then create the chart just like I have shown you. Thank you.